I have a Hampton Bay pendant light from Home Depot. I am replacing an older lighting fixtures. I am trying to make sure that I match up the polarity with the current wiring and the light fixture wiring. Which wire is the neutral wire? There was a piece of white tape on the end of one of the wires but this wire was not marked in any other way. The other wire was marked with lettering which I believe should be the neutral wire and the wire with no lettering should be the live wire. I have wired the lettered wire to the, the neutral and the unmarked, but did have a piece of white tape on it, to the live wire. I also connected ground wire. Can you let me know if this is correct or should the wiring be reversed? There is nothing in the instructions. Thank you, Bill at. Hello, welcome to Just Answer. My name is will be happy to assist with your electrical questions. Just to clarify, inside your ceiling box you have a black, white and ground. On your new pendant light fixture, you have two blacks and a ground. Ceiling box red, white, ground and two blacks and a ground and light fixture. And exactly what lettering is on the one black wire from the fixture? Looks like CULS SPT 1E2432652 by 0. 824 mm 2, 18 AWG, VW 1105C 300 volts of AWM 2088 18 AUX 2C hard to read. Oh, hey. That's just standard wire markings as to what type and its ratings. Is this fixture just a standard incandescent lamp holder? Or smaller? Calls for three standard bulbs 60 watt max. Last few letters 105C 300 volts FT2 Yafe 1 LF. Okay. Well, the only way to truly see which wire is which, you would need a multimeter and test continuity between the lamp hold and the wire. However, it is standard issue that light fixtures do not specify which wire is which, because no matter how you connect the two wires, it will work just fine. Hello and welcome to Just Answer. My name is and I will be happy to assist you with your electrical question. 1. I normally don't encroach upon another expert's answers or replies, but the previous expert's answer by stating that no matter how you connect the two wires is not correct. 2. All lighting fixtures must observe the correct polarity. E. Hot to hot and neutral to neutral to neutral. If having a reverse polarity, the exterior metal shell of the light fixture now becomes a hot conductor and that is a great way to get an electrical shock hazard and or potential electrocution depending upon the amount of current in the circuit. A reverse polarity at any lighting fixture will not work just fine. 3. The light fixture wire that has lettering is the neutral wire. The light fixture wire that has no lettering is the hot wire. If the home contains true three-prong grounded receptacles and you have an AC voltmeter and a three-prong grounded extension cord available, you can easily confirm which of the wires is the hot and the neutral. Or a continuity tester can also confirm which light fixture wire is the hot and neutral. No need to reply back to me as I will opt out of the question and it will be placed back to the board and you can continue on with your dialogue with the original expert. Just trying to prevent you from getting zapped or electrocuted is all. Thanks. Kevin. Hello, my name is is there still an issue here with your light fixture and which lead is the neutral wire? Kind of. I connect the wire from the lighting fixture with the lettering printed on it to the white, neutral, wire from the ceiling box. I guess my confusion is why was there white tape on the wire from the light fixture with no lettering on it? Kind of makes me question which wire is neutral or live. 
Actually I'm curious as to which Hampton Bay fixture you're installing because I have just looked over a couple random HB installation instructions and they state that the smooth wire with writing is the live, hot, wire and the ribbed wire without writing is the neutral for the fixture. So to be sure like Kevin suggested above you can use a Voltome multimeter with the power off to check continuity on the ribbed wire without writing to one of the pendants lamp holders. The outside or where the bulb screws into the threads of the usually aluminum base is where the neutral should be connected, likewise the center pin of the lamp holder should be the hot connection to the wire with the writing on it. Does that make sense? Do you have a multimeter to be sure and know how to use the ohm setting? I have one, but it is at another place and can't get it until next weekend. I will try then. Understood. Do you know your Hampton Bay model number? Maybe I could find some information for you online real quick. Model hashtag CP4028. Okay, let me see what I can find. I'm sorry I'm not finding that model number anywhere. Are there any other manufacturer identification slash numbers? Is it just a ceiling pendant fixture? It is a hanging pendant vintage brass finish. There is another number on the box 499 to 938 with 27 in a black box ahead of this number. How many bulbs does the fixture have? 360 max. I just looked at a fixture similar with three type candelabra 60 watts bulbs made by Hampton Bay, and the electrical instructions again said it is the ribbed wire that goes to the neutral and the smooth that goes to the live or hot wire. Let me see if I can attach a picture or info of this fixture see if it's the same one you own. Here's the link, http colon slash www.hamadipo.com slash p slash Hampton Bay Sherwood 3 light brushed brass hanging pendant HB 3432 slash 20276722 and I sent an attachment as well with the installation manual. Not the same. I will try to send you a picture. Okay, one minute I'll try to find that one, however it's very likely that the wiring instructions will be very similar regarding the ribbed and smooth conductors. There are quite a few fixtures that look similar, but I can't find an exact match. At this point I'll refer you to using the ohm meter again to be 100% sure. Sorry I couldn't iron it out for you in certain terms today. I have been Jason P. Thank you for choosing Just Answer. Would you like me to opt out? Maybe someone will have more luck finding your exact information. Saw the instructions on the other model. I do have a smooth side and a ridded side. The letters are printed on the smooth side. Does this matter as I thought the side with the printing was supposed to be neutral? According to the Hampton Bay manuals I read for you smooth slash W writing equals hot, ribbed equals neutral. Okay, I will wire accordingly. Thank you for your help. I'd like to think they are fairly consistent across all of their models, however to be sure it's either take the fixture apart to visibly see if the ribbed is connected to the outside threaded portion of the lamp holder socket, with the smooth hot wire connected to the center pin of the base slash socket. If it's too hard to check that the ohm meter will definitely be the safest and easiest way to check. Okay, I thank you for using Just Answer today. I was Jason P. Have a pleasant evening. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.